everyone, welcome to today's video. I'm in Rome right now, and if you've watched my previous vlogs, here is the unboxing of everything that I've bought. I'm really excited to show you. These are some of my dream bags that I finally got the chance to purchase, and I'm genuinely so excited about everything. So let's get started. So the first item I'm going to show you is from Louis Vuitton. This is one of the first stores we visited, and it's something that I've had my eye on for a while now. I first saw someone use it on Instagram and that's what inspired me to see it in person and this is a silk scarf it's pretty long it I think it's 48 inches and I, th I think the color is so pretty I'm actually going to Coachella next year and I thought it would be really cute to wear as a hair scarf um, also for a bag with a top handle um, personally pink and gray are one of my favorite combinations so I thought this was like made for me and I got really lucky. I asked if they had um, this in stock and I think it was kind of the only one so I knew I had to get it. So I'm really happy with this. Next we have an item from Chanel. This is an SLG. I have never bought an SLG from Chanel before. I have one from Louis Vuitton that I really like but this um, is something that I um, actually when I got married I got all of my bridesmaids um, this item from Chanel so I also wanted to get one. I feel like SLGs are a really great way to start buying designer goods because it's obviously still expensive but it's a little bit more affordable and you kind of get that taste of luxury and I knew I've always wanted a Chanel card holder especially in a nude beige color and I'm really excited to have this one. I got it in uh, the caviar leathers. This is um, something that I thought would really fit well into my collection and also last me for a long time. The next item I have is from Longchamp and this was a much better deal in Rome and in Europe in general. I'm pretty sure than prices are in America. So I got the large La Plage Toe, and I think this is one of their newest colors. It's kind of like a nude pink and with navy blue detailing, and when you open it up, um, I think they just started adding this, but there's a little kind of Longchamp logo right here. It's like uh, I'm kind of a person riding a horse, and I thought that that was really cute, and also this color again, um, if you continue to watch my videos, you will know that I really like nude pinks. So now we have like something that I can't believe I'm saying that I bought. Um, ever since I discovered designer handbags and luxury goods, a Chanel bag is something that I've wanted for a really long time. Um, I'm 26 now and I probably wanted one ever since I was 18. So I feel really blessed to have been able to buy, buy this. And I did get a pretty, um, it's not affordable by any means, but I think if you do want to buy something like Chanel, it's better to do it in Europe. You can save a little bit of money just in general, and then also with the VAT refund, it's um, a little bit lighter on my wallet. So I'm really happy with my experience buying this bag, and I will show you guys what's in it. This seemed a little bit bright at first, but I actually had one of those like aha moments when I tried it on. It is kind of, it's definitely pink, but it's a little bit more muted and it is the light gold hardware. And um, I really like the way that the pink and the gold go together. I feel like it's a little still, you know, my age appropriate, but it's something that I can wear as I get older as well. And there's just a twist lock and this is what the inside looks like so it is um, one pocket and then you have you know the kind of zipper compartment and this is what the zipper part looks like and also there is a back pocket as well so you can you know fit maybe something back there but I think this is 
beautiful. This is from the, this is 19K, so this is the um, pre-fall collection, I believe. So I will try to leave the name of the actual item down below if you're interested in checking it out as well. And the last item that I will be showing you is another bag. I actually was not planning to buy this. I had only planned to look for a Chanel bag and you know if that wasn't successful maybe think about getting something else. But this is actually a bag I've also been eyeing for some time now and I went in store to try it on. And I also had one of those like, oh my gosh, I love it moments. And I wish I could have filmed it for you guys, but it was really hard to film. Um, footage of you know in most of the stores I went to so if you watch my vlog I tried to get some discreet things here and there but um, in terms of you know being able to show you more it was really difficult so I'll just show you the bag that I bought now um, it is in a very similar color to the items that I've already purchased but it's a little different and I think that the style is different enough from the Chanel that I will love and get use out of both of them. And as you can see, this is the beautiful Dior box. I feel like in terms of all the items I've purchased, this is the most heftiest and nicest quality box in case you were wondering. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have the Dior dust bag. So here we have the beautiful 30 Montaigne bag. And as you can see, it has the beautiful CD um, lock in the middle and on the back. It actually says um, 30 Montaigne, which is a name of, I think, a really famous street. I'm not sure if that's where the first Dior was, but it's an important street for the brand. So um, this color is my perfect, perfect pink. I wish all of my accessories were in this color. If it wasn't overkill, I would probably have five bags in this color, but I'm starting with just the one. So um, <laughs> I really like everything about this bag. I love um, gold hardware also in my accessories and the gold and the pink I feel like go really well together. This does come with a strap. And this is how it goes. Um, it goes, you know, through the holes here and then you can wear it um, over your shoulder and you can also double loop it as well as um, a more shoulder bag. So I think that's really versatile and it kind of gives you more ways to wear the bag. So that's all for my unboxing. Thank you so much for watching me share all of the great things and special things that I bought on my trip to Rome. I hope you also enjoyed the vlogs. It was my first time vlogging, so I just tried to show a little bit of what I saw here um, if you are interested in visiting Rome. And I will be back next time with another video.